Hi all, I wanted to do a quick day and market summary for the 22nd of November 2024. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. So like usual, we'll first view things on the 5 minutes charts, then we'll go to the daily charts and then to the 4 hour charts. So let's view things on the 5 minutes chart. What a day it has been. What a rally in Nifty. Just look at the screen. On the left hand side, I've got mid cap. On the right hand side, I've got Nifty. Nifty has today gone up by 557 points or 2.39%. Phenomenal rally in Nifty today. Stocks that made it all happen is Reliance, TCS, the whole tech pack, the Bajaj, uh, Bajaj Twins, everything more or less uh, taking the Nifty up beautiful rally uh mid cap also not bad at all it has gone up by about 142 points or 1.17 percent banking is up 1.51 percent or 762 points it's again very good for bank nifty fin nifty has gone up by 1.51 percent or 350 points phenomenal so it's the day where the bears would have been taken to the cleaners it's a total bullish day today all right now again nothing needs to be said just look at the chart it's just slowly 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 first it took out this level then this level and it just went crazy beautiful day for uh, people who are bullish reliance has gone up by 3.47 percent and that's a big company tcs that's another giant has gone up by 4.22 percent that's amazing. I mean, these two itself would have taken up the Nifty several hundred points. I mean, couple of hundred points. <clears throat> Let's look at Bank Nifty and Fin Nifty. So I've got Fin Nifty on the left, Bank Nifty on the right. Again, phenomenal ride, nice and wavy. So people who are bullish, they would definitely would have made money. But here and there, and especially before eleven o'clock, uh, there were there were chances where even uh, bears would have made money by taking a couple of put positions here you had one down here you had one down but after about 11 11 30 it was uh, you would have made a big crime if you would have taken a bullish bearish trade it was all bulls all the way all right so that's how the day went phenomenal friday closing i should say amazing last night even us had closed very well today even though us is currently trading in the red but i think market took the cues from last night's us rally and then it's gone up phenomenally well today so something has happened maybe the fis have turned buyers we don't know we'll come to know at the end of the day but or it may be a dead cat bounce or i don't know what it is but anyways whatever said and done it was a good day and i'm sure a lot of people would have made a lot of money today well, personally for me, I completed my day by 11 a.m. That's what I do best. And after that, I went to sleep. And when I got up, I saw this beautiful run. But I'm very happy. I mean, uh, generally, I tend to lose if I trade uh, in the second half. That is if I've made profits in the first half. If I have not made profits in the first half, then it's a separate issue. But generally, if I've made my profits by about 11 a.m., it's best for me not to trade in the second half. And that's exactly what I did today. I did not trade in the second half. I was done and very happy with my performance before 11 a.m. So I took the rest of the day off. Now let's uh, go and look at things on um, the, uh, the custom Fibonacci that we use. We'll start with Nifty. Okay, why is it looking a little different this is not the one that we're looking for hold on okay here it is we'll start with nifty this one needs to go back to it's okay look at that bar in nifty today this is the daily chart look at that one bar that nifty has made today it has taken out one two three four five nifty has taken out five red bars in one green bar today phenomenal beautiful mind-blowing <laughs> and it has taken out two resistance in one go one is that two three five four five and the other one is that two three eight one six it has taken out two resistance in a single day 
phenomenal will this continue i don't know will it retrace and continue well i really don't know today's rally has been an eye opener <laughs> let's look at bank nifty again bank nifty is now currently trading at very crucial levels because you see there is a this exactly where it has stood right now is a resistance point because lot many candles in the past have taken support from here it is a middle uh it's a invisible middle line between these two fib levels that is bottom 50664 and on top 51604 it's that center point between these two which is very important for bank nifty it needs to break this and go up again uh from a larger perspective i've always said that bank nifty is consolidating in this zone it needs to either break out and go up or break down and come down it can't be in this uh, consolidation zone forever so let's see what happens in bank nifty whether it's able to break this uh, resistance and go towards this line red line over here which is at 51604 or whether it heads down i mean after today yesterday's and today's performance in bank nifty it has taken out 1 2 3 4 5 in the last two days the big candle that it had made red candle it had made i think when was this monday uh 13th uh, no 13 november this big red candle it has totally covered that back up so amazing performance by bank nifty as well let's look at fin nifty we'll use the futures chart for fin nifty because this uh indicator requires volume data which is not available for futures for for fin nifty and mid cap on this spot chart so again fin nifty has closed above the resistance of 2356 569 it has gone up and closed at 23602 so about 30 40 points above the resistance again it is now sitting on a very crucial resistance and it needs to travel now to 23996 which is the next resistance which is the red line over here again it's been consolidating in this zone fin nifty also needs to either break out or break down from this zone <laughs> let's look at mid cap great mid cap also has gone and closed above the resistance the resistance is at 12294 it has gone up gone ahead and closed at 12314 so about 25 points above the resistance it's showing good strength in the market <clears throat> and from here we really don't know how things are going to work out uh, it it needs to sooner or later come out of this zone this is the consolidation zone it even needs to break out or break down from this consolidation zone so today's rally is a bit of a surprise i mean i was expecting a rally last night itself because i was awake till about 2 230 i think am and i was seeing the us do pretty well last night uh, us 30 stocks were rallying so i was pretty certain that nifty would go up today the only doubt was because of the adani pack hampering the index but uh, looks like that did not have much of an impact so all in all net net pretty good now let's look at things on the adaptive trend finder it looks like this nifty is still in a downtrend a very strong downtrend range is narrow however now you see the candle has gone ahead and as is hitting the top of the tunnel when it comes to nifty from here it can retrace and come down or it can try and go outside the tunnel let's see let's wait and watch too early to comment right now let's look at bank nifty <clears throat> it's in a downtrend where again it has gone and hit the upper end of the tunnel range is narrowed over the last couple of days uh from moderately strong downtrend now it's trading moderate so let's see <clears throat> it needs a couple of very strong days to come out of the downtrend coming out of this downtrend is not going to be easy for all indices pin <clears throat> nifty as you can see just like bank nifty narrow range is now candles have gone and are hitting the upper end of the tunnel So let's see if a breakout happens. Mid cap range is wider than the remaining. It's traveling now towards the top of the range. It's a it's a downtrend, stating it's mostly strong. So we will need to wait and watch right now how things turn out over the next couple of days. Only thing that the world needs 
right now is peace we hope that russia ukraine does not escalate iran iraq does not escalate we hope that there's a smooth transition from biden to trump <coughs> regarding domestic uh i really have no comments on the whole uh, adani issue as i have not tried to study what the big deal is but i think nothing affects adani because everybody knows why so i think today even adani stocks have recovered with only the adani green being in in uh, in uh, in deep red about 8.2% in the red but apart from that other companies i think uh, adani enterprise is in green today atgl is in green adani green and one more adani is in red i don't know which exactly one so most of the but the important bit is uh, the the other companies in the top 20 companies in the nifty 50 have today done extremely well especially the big two reliance and tcs and the bajaj twins so all in all a good day a fantastic day more or less all stocks in bank top 20 also look green apart from union bank and federal bank slightly in the red everything else is green um uh, icici bank has done pretty well for itself today sbi has done very well it's up 4.52% today so simply amazing bank of baroda is up 3.28% pnb is up 3.58% so a very good day for the bulls and uh a smashing day for the bears and they would have been taken to the cleaners had they not exited their bearish position early so again a surprise thrown at us from the market great i think it's a nice way to end the weekend on that note i'll end the video i'll end this video right here uh thank you so much for watching if you're already a subscriber consider becoming a member with us by clicking on the join button and joining us it's a very small fee every month uh it's a fee the fee is as low as the brokerage for two trades up and down uh if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe to our channels uh, from the stats we see that about 30% that view the videos we post are subscribers 70% are not subscribers it will be great if more people subscribe to the channel and view our videos also subscribe to our free telegram channel the link is given in the description below in all our videos please like the videos that we put up it motivates us to make more videos for you i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye have a good weekend